Hi there, I'm going to show you how you can create a patch pocket with a flap and you can also add to your flap a buttonhole and then add a button to your pocket for a bit of extra detail. So I've already made a video that shows you how to create the patch pocket. Um, you can create that in two ways, either as a lined patch pocket or as a simple um, unlined patch pocket. So you'll already have been able to produce something which looks like this without the flap and then I'll show you in this video how you can create the flap and add that to your pocket. So if you're doing one of my courses I'll have given you this pattern piece for the pocket flap and what you'll need to do is to cut this away from, fab uh, from the paper and then to cut two in fabric and cut one of these in interfacing and we interface the pocket flap just to make it a bit more rigid and also uh, it stabilises the fabric if you're going to add a buttonhole. So I've cut my fabric, I've got uh, the patterned fabric that I'm going to use for the main part of the pocket and then I've got a second fabric which I'm going to use as like a lining for the flap and then I've also cut some interfacing and when I've cut the interfacing I've then trimmed it by a few millimetres all the way around the piece just so that that interfacing will sit within the uh, pattern piece rather than overlapping the edges. And that just reduces a bit of a bulk around uh, the seam line and it also means that when I iron it on there's no risk of that sticking to the ironing board because I've uh, because it sits within the piece of fabric. So the next stage is to iron on the interfacing and to do that I'm going to make sure that I protect the top of the fabric as well just in case I've got it the wrong way up. So on the interfacing you'll have a bobbly side or a shiny side and that's the side that you apply to the fabric. So bobbly side or shiny side facing down. Put that onto your fabric and then I like to cover this with a pressing cloth before I then iron it on just in case that interfacing is the wrong way up. So I just cover that using my pressing cloth and then I can just iron the interfacing on uh, make sure that's in place and then that's going to be stuck ready for the next stage. So with the interfacing attached then to that piece of fabric what I'm going to do is take my other piece of fabric and then put the two of them right sides together so placing that and that one together and then I'm going to stitch a centimetre and a half in stitching from uh, this top edge here and following the lines of the pocket back to this edge. So this edge along here, this long straight edge remains unstitched. So I'm just going to start from here around the edge of the flap to the top of the flap piece again. So when that's sewn it will look like this and if you, uh, if you want to you could draw the stitching line onto the fabric with uh, chalk or a pen so that you can make sure that when you're doing the, um, these sides here you can make sure that they're the same on both sides so then you've got an evenly shaped flap once you've finished. So once I've done the stitching I'm then going to trim away uh, about half or maybe more than a half of the seam allowance all the way around to reduce that amount of bulk of fabric all the way around the flap and then I will turn that piece to the other side so I can turn it to the right side but first I need to do the trimming. So this is one that I've started trimming so you can see I've cut quite a lot of that away and where I've got these angles here I've actually cut a little bit further up to those angled edges, angled corners. So I'm really cutting quite a lot of that seam allowance away. And then once that is all cut away, I can then turn that to the inside. And it's much easier to turn that to the inside once that seam allowance has been removed. And then I can poke out the corners and give that a good press and um, make sure that I get this press right on the edge here.
So this is the one that I've pressed. So you can see that I've got nice angle corners which are the same there, either side. And that's all been pressed all the way around, ready for the next stage. So what I would do next with this would be to either just put some long machine stitching across the top there or even better would be to edge finish the top of this flap. So um, I'm going to use the overlocker and just overlock the top edge of the flap and I'm also going to put in a buttonhole. It's much easier to put in a buttonhole before you attach the flap to your pocket. Uh, it just gives you a bit more room uh, with which to kind of manoeuvre the fabric uh, into the sewing machine. So I want to put my buttonhole here, so coming up from this edge this way, and I need to make sure it's central so I can fold the flap in half to work out where that centre point is. And then once I've got that crease line marked, I'm going to want to start the buttonhole from about here um, and probably being about this big. So obviously the size of your buttonhole is going to depend on the size of your button. So you need to select your button now and then measure up and make your buttonhole correct. Obviously do a few practice runs on some scrap fabric before you make the buttonhole on your actual flap. So this is the one that I have made. So I've also added some top stitching around the edge of the flap because the pocket's got some top stitching uh, around it as well and I just thought that would add a little bit of interest. So I've overlocked the top of the flap, I've put in the buttonhole and I've added the top stitching and now I'm ready to attach my flap to my patch pocket. So I'm going to take my patch pocket there and I'm going to get the flap and the flap's going to sit face down like so, so that the uh, overlocked edge there meets exactly the top of the pocket opening. And I'm going to pin it in place and then I'm going to machine stitch just to once, just to this side of that overlocking. So I'm stitching just above the overlocking all the way across and then that flap will sit like so onto the pocket and then once the flaps attached you can then decide if you want to add further top stitching along here or um, just leave that and then you can also sew the button in the correct place onto your pocket. So I'm just going to pin that in place so this would be pinned here and I'm we're going to put in the machine stitching where I'm putting in my pin, so just to this side of the overlocking. And then that way, once this is stitched and folded in, you don't see any of that overlocking stitch from this side. If I was to stitch further down, you would start to see that overlocking peeking out the top of the pocket flap, which I don't want. So pinned in place, I'm going to machine stitch across here, and then I can add the, the button onto the pocket, and then pockets done. So this is the finished pocket that you can see and I've actually chosen to add an additional line of stitching across the top here to finish the pocket off so that keeps the flap down in place and it also looks nice and ties in with my other top stitching I've added to the pocket. When I put my button on I've used a covered button so I've used some of the fabric for my pocket and I've covered the button in fabric and then I've stitched that on in the right place there. So to make sure you've got the right place, you need to lay that, um, lay the flap over and just put a pin through as to where the centre of that buttonhole is going to go. And there you go. Patch pocket with flap complete.